In this session, we are going to discuss floating point division. So, already we have discussed floating point addition, subtraction and multiplication. So, let us go for the floating point division. Here also we will be having some theory, I shall discuss some algorithms and steps and then one example and the schematic diagram. So, let us start with this floating point division. So, now let us suppose we are having two floating point numbers, one is capital X and other one is a capital Y and capital X is equal to m x into 2 to the power of a, m stands for mantissa can also be called as significant, a small a is nothing but the exponent and in case of y, m y is the mantissa and b is the exponent, very simple. So, now if you want to go for the division operation that means x by y, then obviously the exponents are getting subtracted. So, in the resultant, in the quotient, we will be having this exponent a minus b and here the in the result the mantissa will be m x by m y. So, it has to be done in this way. A general algorithm for division operation has been depicted in the following steps. Compute the exponent of the result by subtracting the exponents. So, that is the point number 1. Compute this. So, I am having 3 points here. I am having 3 points. Compute the exponent by subtracting. Divide the mantissa and decide the sign of the result. So, positive, positive, positive. If one is positive and another one is negative, then negative, you know. So, decide or uh, divide the mantissa and decide the sign of the result. Normalize and round the resulting value if required. So, that is the third step in this way I have done. So, let me go for one example. So, let me go for one example. So, in this example also, I have followed three steps. Divide x is equal to this and y is equal to this and subtract exponent. So, now what is the first step? That is a subtract exponent. So, minus 2 minus minus 1. So, minus minus means plus. So, minus 2 plus 1 means minus 1. Very obvious. Divide the mantissa. So, here this is the mantissa, this is the mantissa. So, you are going to divide them and you are getting this particular result. So, it is very simple to, to divide, you know, it is 1 if you convert it to the decimal number and here it is 0.5, the place value is 2 to the power of minus 1, so 0.5, here the place value is 2 to the power of minus 2, so that is it is uh, 0.25. So, actually what you are doing here, you are doing 1 by 1.25 and which is nothing but 0 0.8, you can do the calculations at your end. And now just express 0 0.8 in binary number system, you will be getting like your 0 0.1100111. So, after rounding, I am making it 0 0.1101. So, 0 0.1101. So, that is the mantis of the result. And so, the result is I am taking this mantis and taking this exponent, there is a result as desired. So, now this is the schematic diagram. So, for the floating point division, so exponent E2, exponent E1, mantissa M2, mantissa M1. So, here the mantissas are getting divided and the exponents are getting subtracted. Now, we require the result rounding, normalization and then I will be getting the resultant uh, exponent and the resultant mantissa. So, in this video, we have covered floating point division, the respective three steps and then how to deal with the exponents, how to deal with the mantissa and how to deal with the normalization and routing. So, normalization and rounding. So, these steps are there that is the dealing with the exponents, dealing with the mantissa and normalization and rounding and this rounding can be done, how the rounding can be done I have shown this one through an example and this is the schematic diagram for the floating point division operation. So, thanks for watching.